good morning y'all so i just wanted to share with y'all another easy simple leftover type breakfast it seems like on carnivore i se i seem to do similar things as i did when we ate majorly plant-based or whole foods is that i cook um in big batches which helps a lot that um I'm more prepared to just whoop something up really quickly because I always have um, lots of leftovers in the refrigerator. So when we made that big ham the other day, I just shredded up the rest of it and put it in a um, stainless steel container and have it in the refrigerator ready to go. And I knew that we would either just use it as a side of shredded ham, I did the same with the turkey, or I could just throw it into these eggs and um, and they really turned out beautifully this morning and i like to cook you know eight to twelve eggs i'll use um about a quarter to a half a stick of butter in there just to increase the fat uh, and that really helps to just to keep everybody full i think the biggest thing that i have found as a benefit with the kids is that they stay full um, even a uh, big text this morning. I said, do you want some ham and eggs? And he said, no, I'm still stuffed from bacon. Um, so that is the beautiful thing. I think when we were eating more of a high carb, low fat diet, uh, whole foods, um, everybody was hungry, including me perpetually. I could eat, um, I could snack all day long. I could eat all day long. Um, and it was just, you were constantly dealing with that highs and lows of the carbohydrates versus um, with the high protein, high fat, you're totally satisfied and you're not having those um, cravings and you're not dealing with all that stuff all day. So anyway, I have been trying to jump on my treadmill uh, because the weather has changed and it is cold <laughs> in the mornings. It does warm up nicely in the afternoons, but it's cold in the morning. So I just try to jump on the treadmill. I was challenging myself just to do like two minutes on the treadmill just to get my blood going, get everything going. And it's amazing that um, I found if I just jump on the treadmill for a couple minutes, then I stop wanting to like just sit around and drink coffee or hot tea that I just, my body gets going and then I'm like, okay, I'm ready for a drink. And then I can grab my electrolytes and get a drink. So that has been um, really helpful. And I'm just challenging myself to do that more often throughout the day is just, just two to five minutes, just jump on and walk or run and just keep my body moving. I think that's a big deal. So anyway, so I said yesterday that I wasn't really noticing that big of a difference with um, doing the half and half in my coffee, but I don't know that to be 100% true because I do know that on the cruise by eating bacon every single morning, which I'm sure it was sugared bacon, as is our bacon that we get from the grocery store, um, because we just buy it in like the big bulk, you know, economy packages, because that's just what makes sense for our family. Um, so it is not the best of the best quality meats covered with the best quality stuff. I understand that it's a treat. We don't always have bacon. We can go for a month or two and no bacon at all. Um, the same with butter or whatever. We just kind of wean things in and out and i think it's going to be the same with the half and half so i've decided to go ahead and try to take a break from the half and half for a little while and i'm just going back to my coconut milk i can get canned coconut milk at the grocery store and they have the full fat but i really prefer just for convenience sake the um canned coconut milk that is uh, not full fat. I don't know what it's called, but anyway, it's just like the regular coconut milk because it's it stays mixed, like in a mixed consistency versus the full fat one. You just get that big chunk of like that oily coconut mixture and then I have to blend it. So I like the pourable um, one. Uh, the carbs are just the same as the half and half. It's like less than one carb or one carb per however many tablespoons full of coconut milk so i don't see that there's really a big difference that way um 
and I think the sugar is similar, but I'm just gonna play around with it and see how I feel, because I'm feeling like a little heavier in my backside and my thighs and feeling just a little more sluggish and my stomach feels just a little bit more bloated than I did without the half and half. So I'm just playing around with it and seeing um, how that is. It's been probably a few weeks before the cruise that we started the half and half because we had company come and they wanted half and half so that's what started us on the half and half kick and then um i was like well i don't really see that big of a difference but now i'm kind of like wondering and questioning myself like do i really see a difference because i am noticing a difference in things and if I'm gaining muscle mass in my thighs and my butt from just the walking and the running, that's totally cool. And if I'm gaining weight even on the cruise, if those three pounds were muscle, uh, because we did a lot of walking, uh, like a lot, a lot, a lot of walking constantly, um, then that's totally cool. I'm all about muscle, especially at 45 years old, but I don't know that it's totally all muscle. Um, not sure about that. So I just kind of, rather than worrying about the scale and worrying about numbers, I just worry more about how I feel and my energy level and am I feeling bloated? Am I feeling good in my own skin kind of thing? That is, um, is more measurable to me. Am I feeling heavy and weighed down or am I feeling light and energetic and ready to go? Like those kind of things I feel like um, I'm way more in tune with at this point and that's the little tiny adjustments that I can make. So like for me, the kids are going to continue to have sour cream because they're kids and they have a lot of energy and they enjoy it and I'm all about keeping the morale of the troops here so that's the name of the game that has always been the name of the game when we did plant-based when we did whole foods when we do um, carnivore when we did gluten-free dairy-free um, it was all about keeping the troops morale up <laughs> so that's a tricky thing that's right now the name of that is sour cream so sour cream and bacon kept everybody happy i think we're at a good point now that we can kind of phase out the bacon take a little break from the bacon the other thing that really made them happy um was the little breakfast sausages on the cruise boat and um even this morning uh, little Tex was like, I want those little sausages. So we have our big beef sausages that we have done from our cows, but um, he wants the little ones. So um, all for it. Like, you know, what's the price per pound? Oh, it's less than $5 a pound for the little mini sausages. That's a good price on any kind of meat. Um, so that's what we do. Uh, the same with ham, the same with turkey. So I've been grabbing the hams and the turkeys as they are on sale because it is the holiday season upon us and there's really good deals, really good sales on um, hams and turkey. So now's the time to buy your meats, even steaks and things like that. Uh, my older boys have been noticing that they have some really great sales. So grab those meats now, throw them in your freezer, get an extra freezer or two if you're um, in it to win it for the long term with this. And it's totally worth it because you can buy your meats when they're on sale and you don't have to pay the high sticker prices. So anyway, I'm gonna have my drink. What I've been doing with my Relight uh, since we got home from the cruise is I'm upping my water. So I'll put a full scoop of Relight in this big quart jar of water. And then I drink it about halfway down and then I refill up the quart jar to trick myself to drink more water. And then what it also does is dilutes the Relight. So um, I'm not feeling like, sometimes I get a little over like, hmm, it's a little too much with the Relight. So that's been our morning. I'm gonna jump into our morning school time now. It is a little bit past school time and we gotta get started. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 